Kenya has been ranked favorably globally in financial inclusion, mainly powered by mobile money that has seen most of those who were not covered by banking services reached. Despite this, Central Bank is keen for increased investments in the financial services sector to boost financial inclusion in the country. The licensing of this institution is going to enhance the microfinance sector in this country. Among areas that have not fully been tapped is microfinance banking services. This is, however, not blanket. Nyaoga says new as well as existing financial services providers must adhere to professional and ethical practices in their operations. That will continue issuing directions as, uh, as regulators, and the purpose of those directions is to enhance consumer protection. He is challenging banks, microfinance institutions, as well as other lenders to lower interest rates on loans to support, among other businesses. Maisha Microfinance Bank, which is the latest entrant into the sector, is banking tailored services and products to get a pie of the 17.4% of Kenyans who are currently excluded from financial services. SMEs continue to decry the lack of credit to fuel their growth engines. And where credit is available, it may not be affordable. The mandate of microfinance institutions has been expanded to include, among others, processing third-party checks, operating current accounts, and forex trading. Brian Itaba, News Hour Business.